Good morning. Welcome. Hey, hello. This is the beginning of the thriving with chronic illness that I was talking about. Welcome to my space. It looks a hot mess because I am still trying to incorporate some of the stuff I brought in from the brick and mortar store. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing with a lot of my stuff. Some of it's going to go in storage. Some of it is being incorporated into my space. Some of it I'm giving away. Um, so I do have a lot of clutter around. Please don't judge me. And if you do, oh well. Um, but this is um, a typical, well, maybe not typical, but a lot of what I'm doing this morning is what I do on a daily basis. So I normally get up and you know what? While we're chatting, I am going to come on over here and I'm going to do some dishes because I got to clean up. Um, so I normally wake up probably around between 6.30 and 7.30. Um, and I usually go to bed. My target is 11. I'm not always successful. But I'm going to talk a little bit about kind of what I do um, in the morning. So one of the first things I do in the morning is I drink a glass of water and I take a kratom. Um, I'm going to talk more about this on my website um, because this is one of the things that YouTube kind of limits is talking about what supplements do or don't do. And I want to be able to give you my perspective of how this has impacted my world. So this is the first thing I do is I take, I take a Kratom and I drink a big glass of water. That gets things moving, gets the plumbing going, wakes everything up, says hello world. And then I usually try to get some tea in. So the interesting story about Blue is I kind of inherited him. Um, he was originally my daughter's dog. And when the baby came along, uh, we discovered that Blue really had like anxiety tendencies, which a lot of dogs do when a newborn baby comes into the house. But Blue was really struggling in that he... Um, was was eating articles and the way that the dogs try to dominate is that they eat sometimes they eat other dogs species they can eat articles of clothing and so he was eating the baby's um washcloths and uh it was no longer really working out for him to be at home and so the universe is quite the, the trickster. And um, so there's nothing funnier than having someone who has chronic anxiety and then having a dog that has chronic anxiety. <laughs> so I say all that because um, his stomach is super sensitive. And so for a really long time, he was having really bad diarrhea, like horrible waterfall diarrhea. And so it took, and part of the reason was because he had eaten the, the baby's towels. And uh, before I left, I used to leave him unkenneled at home. And he got into some trash and had eaten some wrappers and a couple of other things that like really irritated his stomach. Uh, some of the stuff he puked back up. Some of it he was able to process. But in that during that whole time, he had really changed the bacteria of his stomach. And so I had to figure out how to get that under control because I do holistic for myself. And so I do holistic for my pets as well. And so one of the uh, things I read up on is that dogs can also and should have apple cider vinegar if they're struggling with their bowels. And so I put a big tablespoon of that in his food. He also gets brown rice. And then I also 
uh, melt about a tablespoon of coconut oil uh, because with the winter, the cold winter here in Missouri, we have noticed that he has a lot of itchiness uh, from his skin being uh, dry. Um, and so, kind of create this creamy, savory uh, meal that he has really been able to thrive with. And I noticed that his stomach is doing better and that his bowel movements are better. And he really enjoys uh, that combination. I'm gonna bust out some dishes and um, kind of get my space a little cleaned up. So, a little bit of organization got the dishes done. Now, last night, I made some pink rose lemonade tea. And I got tired and forgot to put it in the fridge. Um, but I love this tea. It's got lemon balm. It's got lemongrass. Uh-oh. Dribble. Um, it's got rose petals. It's very, very good uh, for the nervous system. Lots of things to support the nervous system. I feel like Jeannie. You guys remember I Dream of Jeannie? I know I just dated myself, but um, that's what I feel like. <laughs> so this has got all kinds of good stuff to help with your nervous system. And sometimes I'll drink this at night because it's caffeine free, especially if I feel like I'm a little on edge or maybe like the anxiety might be a little high and going to sleep might be a challenge. Then I'll just uh, kind of this is an, an, an additional way to just kind of shh my system and get ready and prepare for sleep. It's crazy because there's so many people who are just able to get in bed and go to sleep, and I am not one of them. I don't know if I ever was. Um, so I'll just go ahead and uh, I sweeten pretty much all my teas with stevia um, because this is going to um, give it that sweetness we like without spiking up the blood sugar. And your body doesn't register this as uh, anything but water, um, which is pretty awesome. So uh, this 16 ounces, if I drink this all at once, this would go towards my water intake for the day because I'm not spiking my blood sugar with any kind of sweetener. Um, but I'm going to put this in the fridge and um, I'll have this for either later today to sip on or maybe this evening. I don't know. It'll just depend. Um, but I love this tea, Pink Rose Lemonade. That's turned out to be one of my favorites. And, um, I sell a lot of this. Blue Blue! You ready to go outside, man? Hmm? Go outside and go pee pee? Yeah? Ah, uh, no stretches. Yes. He's a baby. So I do intermittent fasting. Basically what that means is there's a block of time I fast. And uh, right now, um, I think I fast 18 hours most days. And so usually from 8 o'clock at night to 12 o'clock the next day, I um, don't eat. Now... There'll be times where I'll eat maybe a slice of cheese or some almonds before I go to sleep. Um, but I don't eat anything to raise my blood sugar. Um, I really like this tea. 
Um, it's caffeine free, but it's got things in it like cinnamon. Let's see if we can get that on there. Yeah, there it is. Cinnamon, ginger, holy basil, black pepper. Black pepper is so essential because that makes it available to your body. Um, and then it's got some chili peppers. It's just a really good tea. And then um, I let that steep for about anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes. Make sure you put a lid on your tea because that steam that comes up actually has really great properties from the terpenes. And terpenes are what give plants their smell and their taste. But those terpenes have medicinal value as well. So you want all that steam to stay in and you want it to drop back down into your tea so you get the benefit of those terpenes. All right, so I'm going to go in and have breakfast with my girlfriends. Blue, blue. Blue. Ooh, he's got his vision set on something. I can't get him. I'm going to go here and have breakfast, and I will be back. Had uh, breakfast with the girls, went and grabbed a sewing machine so I can start sewing the panels in my van, and I've been home fidgeting with the setup so I can get some recording done for uh, Holistic and Well. So I'm going to do that, and then I have a couple more errands to run. All right now, so, man, some time has passed. I wasn't able to video, so I thought I would just give you a quick recap before calling it a night. Got a lot done today. Uh, got some self-care in, got to hang out with girlfriends. Um, I tried to take a little bit of a walk, but it was kind of cold outside. Trying to do some work now. Went and got a sewing machine so I can start doing my curtains for my van. Um, ate some dinner, and that's about it. It's been a pretty good day. Pain level today has been pretty non-existent. Uh, stomach has been kind of upset, but overall feel pretty good. Um, I really can't complain. I could complain, but you know, nobody really wants to hear that crap, so I try not to. <laughs> Anywho... Uh, Blue and I are wrapping it up. I think Blue's over there snoring, probably waiting for dinner. And I am getting ready for appointments that I have tomorrow. Uh, I had to wipe my computer. Well, I didn't wipe it clean, but I had to, um, what do they call it when you um, basically... Uh, re restore it. That's what I did. I had to restore it because I was having some kind of funky error. I really need to upgrade my computer and I need some more memory in it. But right now my budget said no, that's not a possibility. So I just did a restore, but it deleted my printer drivers. So I had to download the printer drivers and go through all this stuff and reconnect my printer. 
And so my space is finally at a place where it feels halfway movable and I've got a really long to-do list and so I've kind of been trying to knock that stuff out. So that's really about it. Had a great day. I hope you've had a great day. Hope you've got some self-care in. And um, I guess that's pretty much it. Until next time, you have a wonderful rest of your evening and we will talk soon. Bye-bye now.